My name is Leslie McGall. I'm currently a senior at the University of Arkansas. Today I'll be talking to you about the first coach building in the historic downtown center of Dayton, Arkansas. The Lewis Brothers building was built by A.O. Clark in 1908. This building can be found on the Fayetteville Square in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Although it started out as the W.T. Farrar hardware store, it was best known as the Lewis Brothers hardware store for nearly 80 years. As stated in my inter introduction, it is currently the main branch for the Bank of Fayetteville. A.O. Clark designed many buildings in the Northwest Arkansas area. He helped to build a resort known as Montanay in Rogers, Arkansas, which is about 25 minutes north of this establishment. Clark was a self-educated teacher turned architect who worked as a draftsman under the leading architect of St. Louis, Jerome Bibb Legg. The Lewis Brothers building is truly a beautiful architectural piece, situated in the far right corner of the downtown Fayetteville Square. The building stands out from all other structures on the square. The building is composed of two stories as well as a basement that is partially underground. The point of focus of the building would be the steeply pitched irregular roof shape. The building is part of a Queen Anne architectural style. Some of the characteristics of the Queen Anne style that can be seen in the Lewis Brothers building would be the front facing gable, large bay window on the second story, and steeply pitched and irregular roof shape. Another composition of the Lewis Brothers building that really stands out is the texture of the exterior of the building. The building is composed of red brick and white stone. The use of differing walls textures is a hallmark of the Queen Anne style as well. The use of two different textures on the exterior of the building complement one another with the use of light and color. The focal point of the piece, as stated earlier, would be the rounded turret on the second story of the building. This rounded turret is actually the logo for the Bank of Fayetteville today and can be seen on everything from their checks to the doors of their other bank locations. The methodology of iconography best describes the Lewis Brothers building because the artist's life is the underlying text being used in the design. The iconographic method highlights the content of art. Iconogra iconography is not as profound as biography or autobiography, but I can see a few details that would suggest the method is relevant to describe this piece. Recognizing the symbolic importance of the iconographic detail enriches our understanding of the work. Clark cared a great deal about the area, especially in Northwest Arkansas, and wanted to give beautiful architecture to the towns. His attention to detail in all his work, including Lewis Brothers Building, helps us to better understand his work and the symbolic importance behind it. One thing I discovered that was quite interesting is the exterior of the building was filmed in the TV show Evening Shade. Fayetteville, Arkansas is not a place where a lot of films are made or even referenced to, so this is quite interesting to me. The structure and design of the building obviously stood out to the producers of Evening Shade that they wanted to include it in the television program. The Lewis Brothers building is a beautiful piece of both art inside and out, and anyone touring the Fayetteville area should take a few minutes to check it out. Thank you for watching my video on the Lewis Brothers building.